What's going on guys, your boy Maze, we're back with another video, and in today's video guys, I'm going to be going over the uh, Purgatory Melias on the bird. Um, I was able to test them out guys, and uh, this is the team we were rocking, um, basically a full demon team. Um, this is just, just a showcase guys, it's not really like a team you would use with this melee. Um, if you were trying to use this melee, um, a team would most likely be something like, uh, you know, Queen Deanne, Miguelda, New Melee, and then like the one ultimate or Brunhild or... or you know, someone that can do damage past damage cap, basically, right? Or just hits power strike. So yeah, this is the team I use here for the Purgatory Meliodas showcase, and uh, yeah, it's a really good team, man. Um, I think I was running. I hope I switched to attack. Uh, I think I did though, right? Yeah, I think I did switch to attack. Yeah. So after this, I did switch, and uh, as you guys can see, 21k attack on the melee. Uh, 19k attack on Estrosa. This should just attack Estrosa, but usually people would have HP defense. But this, you know, a showcase guy, so I switched to attack crit. Um, Kusak is on attack crit, then uh, Miguel is on attack defense. So let's let it rock and uh, let's hop in. So before we actually hop into the video, make sure to subscribe to your boy. Amazing, we are on the road to 35,000 subscribers, guys. I have a giveaway going on right now. If you guys have not entered the giveaway, it is going to be going until the 8th of January. And, uh, you know, I think that's this this coming Sunday. So if you guys have not participated in the giveaway yet, definitely make sure to check the link in the description, participate in the giveaway, subscribe to the YouTube channel, like the video, like this video as well if you guys enjoyed the bird and uh, Purgatory Meliodas. And, uh, yeah, that's basically that. Enjoy the rest of the video. So the bird... Um, as you guys know, is the first Demonic Beast battle, probably the easiest one nowadays. Easiest, uh, with Miguel the Relic and stuff. Um, Deer is just, like, for some people it's just complicated, you know, because of the color cycling and everything, so... You know, I guess in a sense, uh, the bird is the easiest. But if you understand the Deer, I think the Deer is the easiest. Um, yeah, man. Uh, this team was pretty good. Uh, if you guys don't know, Kusak has a Power Strike Ultimate, so he's able to deal a lot of damage on the fourth phase of the bird. Um, Asterosa, um, I haven't 6 out of 6, but he doesn't really do a lot of damage, but one thing that he, do, you know, he does kind of do a little bit of damage with is because Melee applies a Dissolve, uh, when the bird does not attack. Um, and as you'll see here, you know, we basically just one phase the, uh, bird, uh, on this first phase. And so when we move into the next phase, the Dissolve is already applied on him, because he hasn't attacked us. Right, which you guys will see. All right there. So the Dissolve actually does apply instantly, uh, which is pretty insane. So, right here, I'm like, okay, let's just waste a ton of cards. You know, the usual, the usual. Um, and I think, and I think I was like, okay, let me try and push for Miguel Dalt as well. And uh, yeah, like, this is mainly just a stall turn, you know, um, nothing, nothing too crazy. Um, but yeah, the, the bird, like, nowadays, man, I really, I just, you know, I go through the bird, and it's basically just auto, you know, to be honest. Um, obviously, you know, I know what I'm doing, and I'm going for, like, ultimates and, like, all that. Um... But it's fairly easy, man. And and that the damage reduction, like you feel it a lot, man. That Meliodas damage reduction, um, you really do feel it. Um, and right there we do get the true magic, uh, as you guys can see. So we get the fifty percent attack related. And so I'm like, okay, let me just spam uh, Miguel the heals here, uh, and then hopefully we can uh, heal up a little bit. Uh, unfortunately, uh, I have Miguel the relic, but I don't uh, fully heal there with Meli, so he does not get two stacks. He only gets one. Um, yeah, Astro also gets a kill, easy. Oh, we have Miguel the ultimate. I need to get Kusak ultimate, and then I need, uh, <laughs> I need that Meli, I guess the Meli, like, rank 2, rank 3. Yeah, because I, I didn't, I didn't know if Meli would do damage, honestly, on final phase. Um, so I held on to the two rank 2s. Um, yeah, and then, uh, as you can see here, Meli hits damage cap on the AoE, pretty good, 150k. Very, very nice. Um, and then, uh, yeah, Astro also goes to the single target. Drops the covert action. You know, we get him pretty low. And then, like, right here, I'm like, okay, we gotta get the uh, Kusak ultimate. And luckily, we did top deck. Big W, we, did, we top decked. So, yeah, right here, you know, we take the AoE. You know, it, you know decent amount of damage. If, if we had a, a heal card with Miguel, that would have been pretty nice. Uh, Meliodas does cleanse, because uh, we lose the damage reduction. Um, so, he's okay. Yeah, right here, I'm like, okay, push Kusak ultimate, move that, waste that. Um... Waste Astrosa, Waste Astrosa, because Astrosa's uh, cards are not going to do damage on Final Phase unless there's Darkness. And, you know, we're not going to be able to apply Darkness only with, uh, you know, maybe Melee card. Yeah. But right here, I'm like, okay, uh, Kusak Ultimate. I was thinking to use Melee Ultimate or not. I remember because I, uh, I was recording this, like, while I was talking in VC. Um, but I didn't know to, like, oh, should I go for the Rank 3 or should I go for Melee Ult? Like, I don't know what's going to do damage. I think I think what I decide with is that I just go for the uh, melee single target. 
Yeah, I go for the melee rank 3. And then we drop the uh, Astralis ultimate and just get it out of the way. Um, he was dissolved, so Astralis ultimate actually does do a little bit extra damage. You know, only like 40%. I am at 6 out of 6 though, so, you know, give or take. Yeah, melee does hit damage cap right there, and then, as you guys will see right here, uh, Astralis does his ultimate. It doesn't kill, I don't think. Yeah, but the Abyss from Kusak's ultimate does kill. And so, yeah, right there, you're pretty much able to get the kill. I, I didn't think melee ult to do damage, uh, especially minus 2 out of 6, so I did not even decide to rip it. Um, yeah, man, that is the first floor of the bird. Alright, so we're moving into the second floor of the bird here. Um, as you guys saw, the first floor is probably the only floor where I was really like, okay, maybe we're gonna have a problem. Um, because, you know, the uh, phase 4, I was like, okay, that's, you know, it, it unfortunately is kind of rough. Uh, but we're okay. Uh, by the way, don't mind if you guys, uh, like, hear Marlowe in the background. He is, uh, you know, he's with me right now. As I'm recording. <laughs> but yeah, so, yeah, literally, uh... Floor 2 of the bird, um, I just basically did the same thing I, uh, as I usually did. Uh, luckily, because we were a little bit less than max HP, we were able to actually, you know, full heal with Miguel to heal here. And then we get a uh, double stack, uh, which is very nice. So double stack is really good. Um, yeah, and then right here, I'm like, okay, we gotta start ripping some Kusak cards. I gotta get Kusak ultimate, because you guys know, if you do not have a character that hits t uh, past damage cap without a taunt unit, you cannot beat bird floor 2. You need a character that can hit past damage cap, and luckily... You guys don't know, Kusak ultimate is Abyss. Um, so yeah, he is able to actually hit the uh, damage cap. And then uh, hit like after the fact. So yeah, it's pretty nice. So right here, I'm like, okay, let's uh, you know waste the Kusak card right there. Um, and then, uh, yeah, we, we definitely need to finish off the, the, the kill here. So I think I just go with Estrosa. I just rip that. Um, yeah, I think I, I ripped the Flood on Estrosa, yeah. Exactly. Just like that. Easy kill, man right there and then now uh, we move into the floor uh floor two phase two which is where you need a taunt unit if you do not have a taunt unit you need to have uh, basically damage past damage cap right and luckily as you guys as i explained uh kusak does have that and so right here i'm like okay how do i go about this where i'm able to hit damage cap with every character um and i, and I was like okay we we end with the uh you know the the astral's uh covert action card and melee will just do his double damage cap uh with a single target um, I didn't know if he would do it with the uh, damage reduction stacks, but he was able to hit it twice, uh, which is very, very good. That's that's a good sign. So even even when I don't have the 50% attack related up, I don't really have to worry about damage there. But as you guys see, the Abyss hits the bird and then he dies. Easy. So we do not have to run a taunt unit on this team, which is very nice. And then uh, right here, we do the heal card. You know, we still have damage reduction stacks and melee. Um, but I was like, okay, to uh, this turn, we actually have to stall, unfortunately, because... Um, as you guys see, if you don't have enough strong cards on floor 2 phase 3, um, you have to stall because if you do too much damage, he's just gonna full heal on you. And so, you know, I wasn't, I wasn't trying to let him full heal on me, so I was just, you know, mainly just trying to do a, a little bit of chip damage, and then the following turn, I was just gonna go for the kill. So, right here, he, uh, breaks my, uh, my damage reduction, we get the true magic, and, uh, luckily, he did not buff remove me or anything like that, so we actually had a ton of stats. I think I do check Melly's stats here, because I was curious. Um, we had four stacks of Miguelda, and we were at 44k attack, 317k HP, and uh, how many darkness stacks were we at? Let's see. Uh, I, I didn't see how many darkness stacks we were at on the, on the bird. Yeah, only one. So we only had 5% extra basic stats as well. So we, we probably could have got a lot more, um, but unfortunately, we weren't able to actually get uh, any more there. Um, but yeah, right here, I'm like, okay, deciding kind of what I'm going to go for. Because um, I didn't know how much damage the melee AoEs would do. Even though, you know, it, it's a fairly good percent. Like, 180% are rank 2. I think that's fairly solid. Um, but right here, I'm like, okay, maybe we'll rip the Kusa card. And then we'll do the melee AoE. So, uh, yeah. And then as you guys see, damage cap. A one, 166k is damage cap on this phase. Um, I think melee AoE does not hit damage cap. But it gets very, very close. Uh, which you guys will see. So, 166k is damage cap. And melee goes for the AoE. No debuff on him, like if, uh, right? So if we had the debuff, maybe we would have hit damage cap. Um, but right there, we do the AoE, we full heal, and Melee is at max uh, Miguel the Stacks, I think. Um, yeah, and then we lost, unfortunately we lost two, I think, because we got those on that turn. Um, but right here, we just rip ultimates, man, and then he dies. Uh, <laughs> nothing else to really explain here. This, this, this is why I say, like, you know, floor one of the bird is probably harder than floor two. Um, just in a sense of like, oh, you know, um, there's not really much you have to worry about in terms of damage. You really just rip your ultimates and you're always going to be hitting damage cap. And, uh, because melee, the way he works, you know, he was able to do that and boom. Just like that, we hit 
Uh, we hit him and uh, floor 2 is done. So let's move into the floor 3. Alright, so we are hopping into the floor 3 here with the full Demon Melio- or no, not Demon Meliodas. <laughs> Purgatory Meliodas Demon Team here uh, with Miguelda. And uh, yeah, man, we- like so far the, the run has been very, very smooth as you guys saw. Um, luckily, because uh, the way Melly works is like, you know, on a floor like this, where it's like floor, like what? Uh, this is floor 3, phase 1, right? Um, you don't do a lot of damage at the beginning, so Melly's gonna get his true magic the following turn, and I think that that's really, that's really good. You know, getting the true magic, um, just having the bird attack into him and then he gets the true magic, that's when it's like it really matters, because then you're really doing damage. Um, before the true magic, you don't really do a lot of damage like that, but... Yeah, so it goes to the AoE, you know, we take a decent amount of damage, you can definitely tell the damage reduction, you, kinda, you can kind of see it, like, let me go back a little bit, I just want to show you guys the damage reduction, like, look at Miguelda's health, right, look how much she took compared to, like, Kusak, Meli, and Estro, so you can tell the 60% the damage reduction is working, um, so it is really helping out the team there, um, so yeah, you know, it's just something to take into account, um, but yeah, Meli, uh, he takes a few hits there, you know, if I, uh, he took a lot of damage, actually, like, that that's a lot. So, right here, we obviously have to go for the heal. Um, unfortunately, it's not gonna full heal Melly from the range he's at, but it gives him a stack at the very least, so he does get 8% all stats. And if I'm able to do enough damage here, I think we, we could, you know, we could life heal a good amount. I don't know if my Melly does that, though. Okay, so he does one, 186k, uh, life steals, but it's not enough to get to the max, uh, you know, um health right there let's see how much this does this aoe yeah you can really see the difference like in terms of damage like because of the damage reduction like it really does matter man um, i'm really feeling it uh for sure yeah you know we got another miguel to heal waste the miguel to heal waste the uh kusak single targets and then uh, merge miguel because i was like okay right here we're definitely you know get it getting like into the next phase no matter what um kusak crits and hits damage cap by the way very very uh uh, something you don't really see often uh, with Kusar because he has like cleave and stuff, so uh, something you definitely don't see. Yeah, right there, Melly actually auto filled his HP to uh, you know get the all stats, which is really good. So I didn't have to use the the Miguel the single target or a heal there because um, I was thinking of using it like honestly, and then you know I didn't even need to. Um, but right here, uh, I go for the basically full damage here. We're just like trying to get the kill. We hit damage cap. You know this hits uh, not damage cap, but. You know, 167k, not too bad. Uh, Astrosa goes for his damage, and then the Kusak ultimate's actually gonna kill, and then we're gonna move into the next phase with the Abyss on the boss. Um, I don't remember if I won phase uh, floor 3. I don't think I did, because I got really bad card RNG. Yeah, yeah, look at all the Miguel de cards. I had way too many Miguel de cards. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, and I had no melee cards either, so we couldn't take advantage of the true magic, so unfortunately, I wasn't able to kill on this turn, um, even with the Abyss on. Because I think we still had the Abyss, right? Or maybe it left. Maybe it left because we ulted into the... And then the phase, like, moved. Yeah, yeah, because Kusak's Abyss is only a one turn. Yeah. So, so yeah, that was kind of a misplay on my part. I probably shouldn't even have wasted it. Um, but, yeah, even with the Abyss damage, I don't think it would have killed it. It would have did half of that. Uh, whatever was left over his health. So, uh, yeah, you know, nothing crazy. I mean, you know, moving into the next phase, I, I wasn't really, like, you know, too worried right here. Because we're going to get the stance disable right here. Because uh, the longer you stay on phase 3, floor 3 of the bird, um, that's where you really get those, like, great debuffs. And then the first one is stance disable. Um, obviously, we don't have a stance, so it's kind of useless. Um, but, yeah, and then uh, right here, I'm like, okay, let's, let's get the kill. Um, so we just drop, uh, I think it's Melee. And I drop melee single target. Oh no, I drop Astrosa ultimate. And that actually gets the kill because he has, what, four buffs right there? So, you know, an extra, what, 4, 8, 12, 16. Oh yeah, so damage cap easily. <laughs> like Astrosa just has damage cap right there. So right there, I get the worst passive. And I'm like, okay, wait, what did I just get? Like, I think I checked the passive as well. Um, like, before I even, like, fully uh, follow through, right? Um, yeah, I checked the passive and I see we got the, uh, you know, the revive one. So this is where I actually have to reset, uh, cause I do too much damage in melee. <laughs> um, or I do too much damage in Miguelda actually, because they're both, uh, melee, or Miguelda and, uh, Kusak hit damage cap. And then, uh, I decide to waste a rank 1 and then melee, because I don't know if it's enough, but... As you guys will see here, you know, uh, this is way too much damage. Um, and then right here I do reset, so we skip past this. Right, and then we, uh, load back in here. And I'm like, okay, Melly has, what, 42k attack? 
yeah, so he's chilling. So I'm like, okay, let's do uh, Kusak Ultimate, Miguel the Ult, merge melee, and do rank 2 melee. And that is, I think, from that range, it was enough to actually get the kill. So, um, yeah, so we dropped the Kusak Ultimate. Um, if amazing, we'll click it. <laughs> uh, there we go. Um, Miguel the Ult. And then we merge melee, do the rank 2 Meliodas. And right there, we uh, finish off the Birdman. Not too bad. What do you guys think of, uh, you know, Purgatory Meliodas and the Bird? Let me know. Um, I think he's pretty good. Um, would I say he's better than Trader Meliodas? I mean, it probably depends on the team. Um, and I feel like Trader Meliodas, because of the damage reduction stars he's giving to the team, it probably would feel more consistent, because he, you know, this Meliodas is only giving it to the, you know, the demon characters on the team. Uh, whereas, like, you know, Trader Meli gives it to, regardless of the characters, and it's 40% every single time, where he could keep stacking up. And, uh, this Meli, uh, loses the damage reduction when he gets the attack up. So, I don't know. What do you guys think, man? Let me know in the comment section below. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe as always. If you guys want to see more videos like this, definitely let me know in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out and have a good rest of your day.